The following tutorial contains spoilers from my new short film, Outback Ambush. You may want to watch that first. Link in description. <laughs> Make a new project using the Vehicle Variety Pack. Add Rural Australia to the newly created project. Open the project and select Rural Australia Map 1. Enable the missing project setting, SM6, and restart. Add a sphere and scale it down to 0 0.1. Next, go to the Physics tab and turn on Simulate Physics and Mass. Then select Convert this actor into a reusable blueprint class. Rename the blueprint BP underscore projectile. While in the Blueprint panel, select Class Defaults and make sure Mobility is set to Movable. Also check that Mass and Physics are enabled. Save your work and close the Blueprint. Select Open Level Blueprint. This is the full blueprint that we need to make. In the empty blueprint, right click and type Pawn. Select Get Player Pawn. Drag off from the return by holding down on the left mouse button and type Actor Location. Select Get Actor Location.
right-click and select Spacebar. Drag off from this and type Spawn Actor, select Spawn Actor from class. Click on Select Class and select the BP projectile. Drag off from Spawn Actor and type Impulse. Select Add Impulse. Drag off from Return Value and connect to Target on Add Impulse. On the Spawn Actor, right-click on Spawn Transform and select Split Strut Pin. Connect. Return value on Get Actor Location to Spawn Transform Location. Drag off from Get Player Pawn and type Rotation. Select Get Control Rotation. Drag off from Return Value and connect to Spawn, Transform, Rotation. Drag off from Return Value of BP Projectile and type Get Forward and select Get Forward Vector. Drag off from return value of get forward vector, type multiply and select. Right, click the multiply pin and convert to a float. Input a value of 9000 and connect to the impulse node. This value alters the projectile velocity if you need to change it. Make sure to click Compile and Save at the top right of the screen. Go to the Vehicle Variety Pack and drag and drop the SUV into the scene. Use the static mesh, not the blueprint. Go to the SUV Details window and enable Physics and Mass. Open the Take Recorder and add the SUV by dragging it from the Outliner window. Select the FPS that matches your desired movie frame rate. In this case, 30. Left click the green play button and then the red record button. You will get a three second countdown. Click top left for mouse control. You can aim the projectile by holding left mouse button and scrolling. Wait for about 30 seconds. 
then press spacebar to fire the projectile. This next part is a little hit and miss and may take several goes to get a result you like. I really like the look of this one. When you have a recording that you like, you can add it to your sequence. As shown in the following examples, You can vary the speed of the subsequence by right clicking, select properties, and increase the timeline speed. This concludes the tutorial. I hope you found it useful and will consider liking and subscribing for updates on new content as it becomes available.